Planet on Earth is proudly sponsored by Chris's and Dips. Stones Cafe. Geneva. Samedayprinting.com.au. <laughs> That. It's like an animal instinct, you know, just wanted just, to get it out just there. Just keep it down. I know we've got a fan of the week on the couch. Just, just, just take it easy, mate. Just take it easy. So, breathe. Welcome. Can I, can I do my intro now? Yeah, go for Thanks. it. Welcome to Planet on Earth episode five. We've got a jam-packed show for you this week. We've got our fan of the week, Julia Clark. She's sitting on us with on the couch. We'll be talking to her very soon. Uh, we have a lovely lady that's had 13 years of experience in, in the uh, theatre industry. We're going to jump into bed with her. And we've got a band all the way from... From Sydney, mate, Sydney, Australia, coming down. Love his dreadies. Uh, he'll be on the show being interviewed and performing for you live. But first, oh, and also Food with Phil, yeah? You can't forget Food with Phil. Can't forget Chris's Dips. Now, we've got a beautiful, beautiful dish for you this week. Beautiful, beautiful. It's a delicious, sexy dish. <laughs> what is it, mate? That's no, just my George Columbaris. Oh, is it? Oh, it's George. Yeah. He's putting a bit of weight, poor fellow. Dish. <laughs> yeah, it's put on. <laughs> and speaking hey, about mate, his weight. the truth. But let's let's go to a more important person than George Columbaris. <laughs> uh, Julia, welcome to Planet on Earth. Julia, yeah, yeah. Give a round of applause. <laughs> um, Julia, welcome, fan of the week. How excited are you to be here? I'm very excited. Yeah, I've been seeing it on the TV and I have you. Glad to be here. You can watch it on YouTube as well. So if you late at night, if you've got nothing to do, you can watch James and I in the cast and crew. Oh, I'd love to. Yeah, exactly. Now, uh, as fan of the week, uh, you brought something. We told you to bring something from your bedroom, so you can add to our lovely bedroom set. What did you bring, Julia? I actually brought two of my favourite books along. Mm -hmm. Something that. I love the look of and I've actually been involved in. So is that you on, on the cover? It looks a little bit like me. But is it? It? <laughs> is it? It is? It's actually my friend. Oh really? Look very similar. Wow, look everybody. at that. We put that against the head. It, I, think it, I think it is you. Mm, I'm inside there? the book. You, excuse me? Somewhere. Oh, you are inside <laughs> the book. I, I thought a photo fell. Oh, look. That's, there she goes. That's one as well. That's you that's there. That's the centrefold. That's the centrefold. It's, it's a bit of can-can. What? It's in the centre and it folds. <laughs> it's a centrefold. <laughs> that's true. So, Julia, you're, these books are sentimental to you because... Um, actually, when I left the Moulin Rouge, everyone signed them for oh, me, well, so awesome. it has all my friends' autographs in it, and, and kisses as well. And you're donating this to us for our set? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the idea. Is that part of the idea? Yeah. I didn't know that one. Um, we get to keep the stuff that James, you bring. James, uh, sign up um, to eBay now. We've got to sell these quick smart. Yeah. Pay for this show. Well, they have some beautiful lipstick kisses in there. They are oh, fantastic. They're probably priceless. Priceless, exactly. Well, Julia, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, what are, you, are you involved in the industry in some shape or form? What are you, obviously, dance, some sort of dancer? Yeah, yeah, I actually started off dancing. Mm -hmm. I studied at the VCA mm -hmm. and I went overseas for four years and did a couple of shows. Whereabouts overseas? Uh, well, a year and a half in Paris doing Moulin Rouge mm -hmm. and then... Did you kiss, kiss any French guys? I didn't. Surreal. Where's Surreal? No. We've got Surreal. He's French. <laughs> he kisses like a French mother effer. I had a boyfriend. Ah, oh, so shame. I know. So does he. Aussie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're going to go to Colette. She's uh, talking about style, how to dren, uh, dren, how maybe how to, how to, yeah. She would do it. Can we do it? <laughs> And she's going to show you how to dress a man like me. I'm a man, unlike him. <laughs> Let's go to it now, Colette.
Gentlemen, tonight's styling segment is all for you. Now let me tell you, there is nothing more that turns a woman on than a well-dressed man. And if you think about the largest stars who have the biggest followings, they are all immaculately dressed. Think David Beckham, who is the largest style icon for men these days. John Hamm from Mad Men, and of course James Dean, who still pulls off his effortless looks. Well, our up-and-coming Australian talent, you are in for a treat. I'm at Vogue and Jackson Menswear with Carl Chilia. And together we're going to show you how to put together a stylish look that will have you owning the room of any event. Ladies, how's this for eye candy? This is Carl Chilio from Vogue and Jackson Menswear and Jesse White, our model for today. Looking handsome. Now we're going to start off with the white shirt. Carl, how do we fit a white shirt? Well, Colette, there's a lot of things that you have to take into to account. Firstly, an exercise width of someone's shoulders as well. There's yep. a lot more, but I'll just keep it very basic for you today. First thing we need to measure or, or to look for is get your neck size right, okay? What's going to fit you properly? So, very easy to tell. If the button is obviously in line with the hole, it's going to fit your neck. Secondly is the shoulders, okay? We need to make sure that the seam work on the shoulders is in line with the actual edge of, of the gentleman's shoulder. Also, if we just turn Jesse around here, you can tell it also from his lats. Some gentlemen are quite broad and some gentlemen are quite narrow. So if the, the lats are, are making the fabric pull, then you know you have to go up a size. There is an alteration that you can do to fix any little problem that might, might come about. Firstly, the fit of the shirt. Most guys are unaware of this. Uh, most good gentlemen uh, outfitter stores will actually do this for you. You can take it in through the side seams and also you can add data to the back. Oh, okay. So for the next size, you can move the button over as well. Okay. You can also ask the, uh, the shopkeeper um, wherever you go to do that for you or you can just take it to, a, to your local tailor um, to fix any amendments that you might have. Yeah, cool. So I find when I take um, my male clients out shopping that most of the time you actually can't fit into an off-the-rack shirt yeah. um, and tailoring is actually quite affordable these days. It is. Especially it is. with someone quite good as well. Cool, because the true... Um, I guess commercial sizes or fits of a shirt, is it bias, a bias cut, which means contemporary in? Yep. and there's a slim fit. Most retailers these days will supply a slim fit, but they do stock a large amount of, of contemporary fits for the larger gentleman mm -hmm. who's not too comfortable in wearing something too slimming. Okay, great. This is Jesse in a smart casual look. Check him out. This is inspired by Vogue and Jackson. Now this outfit is perfect for your fashion events and movie premieres. And please subscribe to palantunearth.com.au to keep up to date with all of these styling segments. And remember, when you are out shopping for a suit, go somewhere that you trust, just like I did with Vogue and Jackson. See you guys, back to you in the studio. <sighs> Sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm Give me society. all my clothes. You know, I like yeah. it. I could wear this with my skirt. I would look really good. Oh, later I can sell it to you or something. Yeah. Like. <laughs> um, you've got a new album coming out. Yeah. Um, we've actually we've actually got two albums out already. Oh, really? Can I have yeah, a Yeah. Let's, let's show the people. Let's, let's, let's <laughs> the Bed of Light, the red one. So this Cashology, is... Cashology, the, wow, the second one. Wow, that's crazy. That's full Hollywood style. It's kind of We just wish too. all the American money underneath was ours, that's all. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I don't know where it went after the shoot. Did you take that? I don't know. That man disappeared. So what's, album, the did you, what's the album that's coming out now after these two? Well, we can't tell you because we haven't decided on the name. <sighs> okay. Well, can we, when, when about, so where can we go to check out your music? Oh, you can go to, um, you can basically put Mark Hashin and the little hussies in Google. It'll take you to all the Facebooks, all the MySpaces, all the Reverb Nations. And um, it's about 35 or 40 pages there or something. Is your music available online? It is. And in stores? It is. Yeah? Mm. Where about JB? It's That's where I go. distributed by <laughs> a Foghorn. Foghorn Records, yeah, in Sydney. It's, okay. um, it's available on iTunes, Amazon, Rhapsody, Insanity, wherever you... You've you can go You then. can go to yeah, Estonia everywhere. and order this CD. Really? And Estonia? You'll get it. Yeah, you'll get it. I'd love to go to Estonia. Maybe five days, Have but you'll get it. Have some vodka. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, look, thank you so much for coming on the show. And, uh, yeah, when your album comes out, please come back and let us know so we can, we can get it on the show. Yeah. You guys are going to be performing. Yeah, 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 we will. Thank you very much for Thanks having us. Guys. See you later. Total rock star. <laughs> um, Sean, back to Sean. Where is Sean? Oh, I'm sitting in his chair. Where is he? <laughs> oh, no! Maybe you knew I was. I know I was dying for a pie. I was dying for a pie. Some dreadlocks. Hey, what do you think? Good new look? Hang on, I'll just... Uh, yeah, put it... I think I just caught something. Oh, uh, no, I'm not <laughs> sure. Are you itchy yet? <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. Hey, guess what? It's Good Morning Australia of the boys on the street, Tommy and Ashley. Let's go to it now. Unearthians, we're out on the streets again. Um, I'm with a uh, James and Ash. What are you looking at, Ash? Buddha. It's Buddha Mike himself, who has come to bless our Good Morning segment. Yeah. Well, let's rub his belly and get out on the streets. Ooh. Not my belly. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Pretty good. Pretty all right. Good yeah. You know, he just moved to me yesterday, so he's pretty dandy. What do you I'm reckon? Of, what do you reckon of Brunswick Street? Yeah, well, for my first impression, it's beautiful, beautiful street. Getting yeah, interviewed right now, so yeah. yeah, that seems like a pretty happy place. Well, guys, we've got a couple of presents for you, seeing as you are new to town. Uh, from the <laughs> our great friends at Chris's <laughs> Dips, we have a show bag for you. Awesome. Can you slow just, clap, slow clap it out. Slow clap it. Can you yeah. just show us the contents of the uh, show bag? There is one paper cup. Yeah. Beautiful. Pocket cup. You never pocket know cup. when you need a pocket cup. Oh, okay. I don't oh. like cricket. Um, <laughs> CD. CD. Uh, Polaris. Yep. Beautiful. You know, happening Rogers. upcoming band. No. <laughs> she knows it. She knows it. They play a lot of tambourine. Yeah. Hey, uh, Tommy, like you know how our show's all about, you know, unearthing the Aussie talent? This one, he's got a bit of talent. Oh, we should have a bit of a talent. Can you sing? Can you sing? Oh, I really can't sing. But I do play the tambourine. So if anyone wants Very a tambourine well. player, I'm the lady to come to. How do you play Get the tambourine? Like, do, you have, do you read music for tambourine? You're like, oh. Uh, you, you, just, you just become it. You become one of the tambourines. Someone came up to me recently and said that I added a fourth dimension of music with my tambourine. Like, well, the other three dimensions yeah. of it. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't know. But I've added the fourth dimension, so it's there. Anyway, but we're not now knowing that you're trying to. Good morning. They must watch the show. Good morning. Anyway, guys, can we say good morning to Planet Unearth viewers? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning, guys. What have we got here for breakfast? Chicken schnitzel wrap. Yeah, right. Oh. Not too early for a bit of chicken schnitzel? Never. It's a bottle of BB, mate. Check it out. It does. It looks like a bottle of alcohol. For a living. I'm a stylist, a fashion stylist. Well, I think that... And a blogger. And a blogger. Yeah. What is your blog? Styleguru.com.au 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 and what about yourself here? I'm here. Ever visited Brunswick Street? It's a bit quirky, isn't it? It's fabulous. What's the weirdest thing you've seen on Brunswick Street? Well, there's 
Weird shit. A shop called Weird Shit. Yeah. And I said to him, what do you think's in that shop? And don't tell me weird shit's in there. Because I don't want to know. No, but the pants. Show the pants. you got to go around. Look at this. Go around. Look Come around the barrier. Come this. on. Look at these yeah, pants. This purchased in Brunswick Street. Yeah. Do you like it? Disco <laughs> That's some weird shit right there. Hey, right Tommy, there. I just had a... Is it Bianca, is it? Yeah. And you're a healer? Yeah. So I've got a problem in the, in the crutch area at the moment, and I'm wondering if you do all that sort of uh, healing. Back. Uh, back, crack and sack kind of uh, crap pain. Really? What's going on? Uh, well, it's, uh, it's been a few months. Yeah. And, uh, Have you got any? And that's pretty much the problem. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> what is this talking? What's this doing? Know, you there. Anyway, guys, I'm hey guys, connecting with you about to heal you, and you're making a funny joke. I was about to like put my hand on your. Yeah. Well, there you have it, Brunswick Street. A little weird, don't you think, Jimmy? Yeah, that's just us. Yeah, that was us. But uh, Ashy, what's going on? Maybe we should ask Gumby. Well, Gumby's behind us, and I think we should say sayonara for another good morning. Sayonara. Sayonara. Whatever that means, I just made it up. Is that African? It's Gumby talk. It's Brunswick. It's Brunswick. Gumby! That's the same tune you played last week. Is it? Yeah. Rob, you've got to get some new tunes, mate. Get some new tunes, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> we know, we know, we remember. We remember. <laughs> In case you haven't noticed, we were here last week too. Yeah. Hey, guess what? I've got an awesome guest, one that I know the up-and-coming directors and editors of Theatre would absolutely love. I know you would love him, James, because you're in the theatre at Witches. I would love him, would I? No, the, our guest. Oh, the come, guest. The guest is right, coming yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you do witches. I do. Yeah. I don't do witches. I work at a place called Witch and <laughs> Could you imagine if you ever... No, 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 no don't leave that one there. <laughs> Guess what? Her name's Gurkham Ajaralu. Put your hands together. She's coming out of the closet now. Hey, 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 right on cue. Hello, hello, Hi. lady in red. You're looking beautiful and radiant today. Thank you very much. You're nice, cosy in the bed. Very cosy, very cosy. Can we, can we start off with a little bit of a funny story? Sure. Your PR, the lovely Mary, um, forgot to tell you that our interviews were in bed. Yes, that was a surprise. <laughs> that was a surprise. So when you walked in the door and I said, uh, by the way, um, we're doing an interview in the bed, you're like, really? Are you serious? How, how did that first take you? Were you a bit... I just thought you were being funny. Oh, really? I you're a very funny and hilarious guy, but no, not well, serious. Very serious, very <laughs> serious. Now, let's get down to business. Yes, let's. 13 years in the industry, um, you've been writing and directing theatre shows. Tell us a little bit, a bit about how you first got into it. Well, it was something that I always wanted to do, mm -hmm. but um, first I wanted to be an actress, mm -hmm. not, not a director, mm -hmm. and it um, took a little bit of time for me to realise that when I was on stage, I was actually directing in my mind I was directing the show. Like so, um, yourself or the whole show? I wasn't saying or doing anything but yeah. I just you know, was thinking about how it looked like from the outside, what it looked like from the outside. Yeah, cool. And Before we go, we want to wrap up with one final question I know our viewers out there Australia-wide are dying to ask you. It's not if you're single or married, we don't want to know that. <laughs> but what we do want to know is what's one tip you can give to up and coming uh, actors or even directors that want to get into the industry, want to do their own theatre shows and that sort of thing? Yeah, I reckon um, f advice that I can give people who make theatre or want to make theatre or even write it, or, or not even just theatre, even film or you know, any of those sorts of things, Basically, I think you just have to do it. You have to just get out there and do it. Do it as professionally as you can and do as much as you can and get people to see your work and don't wait for someone to kind of, you know, hand it to you on a silver platter because it's probably not going to happen until that's, you start doing it. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great piece of advice. I think we should all take that up. James, you should take that up. <laughs> Absolutely. And I had a quick question as well. Um, how long does it take to wash all that hair? <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> that is magnificent. That's magnificent. Oh, thank you, thank you. How long is the hair? How long has it been growing? It's quite long, yeah. yeah. It's, a, um, it's a work in progress. It's going it. to get. It's go on, going to go on longer. It's okay. That's it's the, okay. Uh, that's art. J James is just jealous because he's a bit receding. You know? <laughs> I've got it on my back. That's the problem. Put your hands together. Thank you for coming in. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you, no worries. Now we have to go with food with Phil because he's making something yummy in the kitchen. Uh, James, you did this one, didn't you? I did, I did. Yeah, just like all of them. I do all food with Phil's. Yeah, listen, you, do, you don't do food with food. Phil. Oh, not that joke yeah. again. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> food with Phil. Orders up. Orders up. 
Does anybody work in this restaurant, Phil? <laughs> <laughs> was it just, just us today? Just us today. Well, well, you as well, because you've got my wife. I on. do. Philip Varkos, good to see you again. You too. Uh, food with Phil. Thanks to Chris's dips, of course. And you've upgraded me. You've upgraded. I'm, You're I'm, a sous chef now. I'm now a pharmacist. Mm. It's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm I'm a wannabe chef. But here's the real chef from that Master Chef. You, man. We're cooking up uh, fish today. We are. Well, we're going to do a nice, that simple fish, way. Fishy smell. It is. It's, it's not fish. you. It's not you. No, 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 no. It's the um, rockly. Look at that. Nice, beautiful, boneless. You just cleaned fish. that recently, didn't you? Yes, just yeah. took it out of its skin. Bit take of the bones out. Palm olive. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to show you today is like a really simple dish that yep. you can cook at home, and it's got everything in there. And all you got to do is. You can prep it up the night yep. before, come home, chuck it in, on the oven on yep. top of the hot plate, and you'll have a nice meal in like 10 minutes. All right, show us what we stuff into right. this fish. What we're going to do is we're going to get a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of grease proof paper, yeah. Yeah. and a bit of foil underneath. We're going to add our rockling down. It's always got that funny texture, doesn't it, fish? I know. I hate that too, but it's... You got it. You got it. How do you cook? You know, so you to. season it with a bit of salt, pepper, oregano. So this is what I'm, I'm going to do this at home. Actually, this is a really awesome. good idea. That's how you get everything in yeah, one go. Yeah, and it's all, it's all there, and you don't have to do this bit salt, of that. Yeah, yeah. Pepper. Now, what I've got here is just some potatoes are cubed and cooked in saffron. So I was going to say, why are potatoes. they so yellow? Yeah, it's saffron potatoes. You just throw the potatoes. So in. here you got you got your meat, you got your, you, you got your protein. So you got yeah. your starch now. Yeah. I see you. Add you just got a little bit some, of grass from the. Um, some dill. <laughs> that's dill. Dill. Some chopped tomatoes. Yeah, so we're going to add that on. Excellent. So we've got the dill, zucchini, really, saffron. You're piling it up, are they? I mean, how's that going to all, you it know? It will. Watch. It'll just cook all just together. Just some lime and some cubes of butter because dill and butter. Well, it's Phil, just going to be its own sauce. Phil Varkos, you're always cooking quality stuff here at the restaurant. Oh, thank you. Of course. Now, when you go out and eat yourself, yeah. do you... Do you like, you know, do you look for quality all the time when you're just like, I need something quick to eat? Uh, you or, know do, what? or do you go like, to junk food sometimes? You know, you do know do what? chefs it's, it's always a, look for quality? Well, look, you do, but you know what? Like, you always sort of want what you don't cook yourself. So, yeah, like, yeah. I go out for like Thai and Asian food a lot, and I'm a real bad sucker for KFC. <laughs> you see? Yeah. Master Chefs Phil Barkos loves a bit of KFC. I love KFC. I can't help it. It's just those secret herbs and spices. Yeah. yeah. But you've got them all here. It's fantastic. <laughs> So that's it, and that just goes on top of the charcoal grill. Yep. And what it's going to do is puff up. Yep. In about ten minutes, it'll be ready. So we'll get it on. Just like popcorn. Like popcorn, but not in the microwave. No. All right, let's get it in there. We want to see what this what this is. Fantastic. Beautiful. Phil, we're back. The fish is now cooked. So let's take a look. Let's have a look, huh? Got the forks here ready to go, ready to munch away. Oh, look at that! See the wow. saffron's leached out and made a sauce with that the butter. That looks fantastic. Mm. It's so colourful as well. Oh, it's beautiful. And it's everything you need. It's for you. Potatoes, vegetables. Yeah. Like the potatoes which were cooked in um, saffron. saffron. Yeah, let's give it right, a go. Right, let's take a little bite because this is my favourite part of, mm, of food too. with Phil. Just take a little bit there. Oh, yeah. That is very mm. tasty. Every week, he just does it again. Phil Varkos from Master Chef. Mate. Thank you, mate. Now, just before I let you go, yeah. do you reckon we can get my name on this instead of yours? <laughs> No, serious. Well, on one as well. No, just just rub out that. And How about I make you one? Oh, you wouldn't. Yeah, I would. Really? Yeah, what colour do you like? Red? Pink. Pink? I'll pink. make you a pink one. Right, we're off. Back to you in the studio. Thanks to Chris's dips. Phil's going to go out the back, put one of these in pink dye and put my name on it and we'll be set. And I'll be cooking with you soon. Done. Here at the restaurant. Why not? Great episode, mate. Great, well done. Congratulations. Great, thank you. No thank worries, you. no worries. Uh, hey, uh, we're, we're going to go. That's we're it. Good. It's over. For episode five, Finita. don't forget to subscribe to our website to get the exclusive link to watch each episode on YouTube if you haven't got Foxtel. Also, Thursday nights, 9 p.m., again on Friday at 10 p.m., and Mondays at 6 p.m. now, thanks to Aurora. We're on all the time. Mate, we're, we're always on. We're taking over the network. Taking over, mate. To take us out, we've got Mark Cash and the Little Hussies. Take a look at it, purchase it at your local store, um, and we'll see you next week. Yes, and don't forget... 10.30 tonight, Northwest FM. Make sure you listen, 98.9, www.northwestfm.org. You can hear all the gossip of what happened tonight with James, myself, and Kate. See you guys next week.
I got this feeling It's getting me down, down, down Created problems all around, around It's in my head repeated constantly Oh 